They are hungry. I got a fish, I got a fish on. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah. No. Come on. I gotta pull him out of that wreck. Nice sheep's head. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now we're on the board. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, look at that. That's a nice little fish right there, guys. He's not too big, but... Oh, Jack saw him with, with, with a glove. Oh, my. Look, I, may, I may have a drum. Oh, I, I, I pulled him out. Oh, gosh. That's, that, that, yeah, yeah, I am. Oh, my gosh. What in the world? He's going to be barely hooked. No, I think it might be a sheep's head. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's hooked good. Nice. Small one. He's legal, but... Oh yeah, he's definitely legal. I guess we'll, I guess I'll throw him in there because he's small. I'll let the big ones go. There we go. Ah, beautiful freaking fish. All right, Saltugans, what is going on? This is Kyle for a while here. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a catch and cook. And we're going to be doing two different styles. So this one right here is going to be just simply fried. But we're going to have a little bit of a twist on it. What we're going to do is we're actually going to incorporate some pork rinds in the breadcrumbs that we use to coat our fish with. We're going to actually crush up some pork rinds and bread this meat with the pork rinds mixed in with the uh, fish fry. I heard that that's a really, really good recipe, so I'm going to try that out. And this one right here, I won't be able to do this one on the camera um, as far as cleaning it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this one. We're going to scale it, and then we're going to gut it, and then we're going to cook this one whole inside of the oven and just put butter and um, garlic and just some other spices on it as well. So this one's going to be whole. We're going to gut it, scale it. This one, we're going to clean just regularly. Just like that. And as we're making this video, I'm actually gonna make a video real quick on how to clean sheep's head because a lot of people hate cleaning these things, but I got a really easy way. All right, guys, so we have our two specimens right here. They're actually the same specimen, but this flay is gonna be for fried sheep's head. So these two bigger flays or three, there's, there's another little piece right here. These are gonna be, that's for fried sheep's head. That's gonna be the pork rind recipe. And then this one right here, this is gonna be the whole one in the oven that we're gonna put um, butter, we're gonna put lemon on it and garlic. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get in the kitchen and prep these guys. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do, we got this, we got the sheep's head that's scaled in the kitchen. So what I'll, all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna cut slits. I'm just gonna cut slits down the meat like so. I'm just gonna cut some slits just like that. And then one more tiny one, just like so. So now we got three semi uh, deep slits, which is what we're looking for. And then you can also add like maybe another one, like it's right there. And then some tiny ones kind of. And then all we're gonna do now is there's your slits. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna go one way this way. So we're gonna start right at, right kind of towards the top. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna do it just like that. And we're gonna, this is where the ribs get really, really bad. So what we're gonna do is do it just like that. And that should be good enough right there. So then it should look somewhat like that. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna allow all that butter, all that butter and uh, juice and spices just to you know, seep into the meat and really, really give, that, give the fish a nice flavor. So now we're just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to switch knives. We're going to get a butter knife, which is apparently hard to come by in my house. We got another this one. So we're going to get a butter knife, and we're just going to get these little slabs of butter. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of massage this butter inside of these slits, like so. So we're just going to massage the butter inside there like that and i'm a saucy kind of guy so i like a lot a lot of um butter on my fish so we're just gonna do that try your best to 
kind of get it inside the cracks. It can be kind of hard, I know, but more butter, the better. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get one more. And this whole piece of butter is already kind of, it's gonna be kind of bad. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some more butter inside the thoracic cavity, like so. Maybe a tiny bit more. You can't have too much butter, guys, and girls. So, now that we have all the butter, like so, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a toothpick. Hopefully we have one. After we get done putting some spice in here, which now what we're gonna do is we're gonna salt this thing heavily. Um, it's actually really, really, really a good thing to salt your fish. And then we're gonna add some garlic powder as well. So we're just gonna add a little bit of garlic powder, like so, not too much. We're gonna throw some in here, like so. Try to keep the butter from sticking to my finger. There we go. And then now, what we're gonna do is these toothpicks are gonna be used for, we're gonna stick these things through here. Hopefully they'll work. I don't know, they might, they may not. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. And we're just gonna close this up like that. So it really allows that fish to cook really, really, really good. If I can actually get the toothpick in there. Which is kind of hard, believe it or not. All right, guys. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a cookie sheet, and since our sheet head is not that big, I'm gonna go ahead and do this like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop some pieces of butter in the middle. I know we already got a lot of butter in here, but this will just keep it from sticking. We're gonna set our fish on top of this stuff like so. Just like that. And then now we're gonna go over to the oven. And we're gonna put the oven on bake and we're gonna put it on 375. Just like so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for this oven to heat up to 375 and then once it heats up to 375, we're gonna put the shoes all right guys, so the oven is at 375. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the sheep's head in the oven, like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for about, honestly, whenever you're cooking fish, you just wanna keep a uh, close eye on it. You just wanna keep checking on it and make sure it's not getting overcooked. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, we're gonna put the timer on about, um, seven minutes and we're just gonna check it on and off through those seven minutes and just see how the meat's cooking and see if it needs to come out or if it needs to stay in there a little bit longer. Alrighty, so now the sheep's head has, has been in there for a good probably 12 minutes and we're just gonna check it a little bit and I still, yeah, it needs to be in there a little bit longer. As you can see, there's a little bit, there's some places on it that it's actually um, still kind of raw, but it's looking really, 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 really good. So. Looking really, really good. And we're gonna go ahead and put it back in there, like so. And we're gonna close the oven. We're just gonna go ahead and reset the timer. We'll probably, get, probably needs about another four minutes. And we're gonna let that bake. All right, everybody, so we just checked it. Um, the fish is starting to kind of, you can see how it's, like I said, whenever you overcook it, it really dries out. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna get some of this butter like so, and we're just gonna drizzle it along, keep it nice and moist, like so. And then we're just gonna make sure that this fish is really, really well oiled. Cause this butter, that's what the butter is for, is to keep the fish moist and to give it some flavor. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it just like that. We're gonna grab something like so. And then just like that. And then we're gonna put it back in there. And we're gonna set the timer for probably another four minutes. 
and just kind of watch it. Like I say, whenever you're cooking fish like this, there's not really a set time frame. Just keep on checking it to whenever it's good because fish vary in sizes. So if I cook a big fish, it's obviously going to take a lot longer than a small fish. So just keep watching it, keep checking it, and yeah. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. The sheep set is done. We just checked it. It is. Whoa! It is done. D O N E done. So now we're going to take this to the towel, to the blanket, and we're going to set it right there. And then we will be right back. And you see how it just kind of fell apart? I mean, that's how tender it's getting. Literally, it is so, oh my gosh, it smells good. Does it smell good to you? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness gracious. This is spacecraft. Yeah, there's like, there's planets in Star Wars. There's like so many types of planets. Each planet has a city. All right, guys and girls, we have cooked the sheep's head. This is going to be the taste test right here. So, go ahead and scrape you off a piece. Mm, look at that butter. Yeah. Tear off like a piece of that, and then the brown stuff is just a uh, bloodline. Yeah, that's a good that chunk. That big piece? Yep, now let me get a piece. And actually, I'll let you go first. I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and get a piece right off the bone. See how it just, see how it just falls right off the bone? All right, why don't you go ahead and careful, it might be hot. That's what? That's just, that's just blood left. Is it good? You like it? <laughs> so what do you give it on a scale of one to 10? What do you give it? I give it like a, like an eight. An eight? It's and really buttery. I will. Yeah, I did, put, I did put a lot of butter on it, but I'll take an eight. It's good. It tastes like a fish you'd get at like a restaurant, bro. I'm glad you like it. Try it. I'm glad you like it. All right, this is my bite right here. Wow. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Kind of mushy though. Folks. <laughs> people, I'm not kidding you. That is actually really, really good. I'm not kidding you, the butter and the salt and the garlic just all combined it's buttery. to give you just a blast of flavor. Wow, it is really, really good. That's phenomenal. Let me get one more bite. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that is really, really, really good. I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a... I think I'm going to give it an... I, think eight, I mean, can't complain. I think so. eight's good. Eight's good. That, that took the number out of my mouth. That's really eight's good. That's that's what I would probably give it to. An eight. Mm. I'm glad you like it. Thanks. I'm gonna give it an eight. So Kyla gave it an eight, and I gave it an eight as well. So it was. It turned out really, really well. I'm actually really, really prou proud of it. All right, everybody. So now we are back again, and now it's time for the fried sheep said this is gonna be our ingredient right here pork pork rinds okay so what we're gonna do is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our fish fry batter right now so right now and here what i use is a little bit of milk and two eggs um you probably can use one egg you can get away with it but i just use two and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make our batter for our fried fish so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of pork rinds in there. We don't want to put too much. And then we're also going to... So now what we're going to do is we're going to make our fried fish batter. And this is already getting hot. I'll tell you that right now. We're just going to put it in medium. So we got our pork rinds in there now. We're going to crunch them up. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is... This is actually a um, this is actually a meat a meat separator. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna use this and crush up these pork rinds. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure to leave a like, guys, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. I just got butter in the pan. All righty, folks. So now we have our crushed up pork rinds in here. We got our crushed up pork rinds. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of the Zatarain's fish fry seasoning. Uh, we got the seasoned one. 
So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw a little bit of that in there as well, like so. And we're only frying one piece. I'm only frying one piece of fish. I'm not gonna fry all of it. I'm just gonna fry a little piece. And we're gonna see how that, how that piece tastes. And then tomorrow we're gonna fry up the rest just normally. But I just wanted to do one little piece with this pork rinds and just see how it tasted. So let's go grab a fork and mix this up together. And then let's drop the fish in the fry. Now it's still, still a little clumpy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try crush up as much of it as I can like so there we go all right so now all right guys so like I said we're only gonna do a little piece of sheep said we're just going to do a little piece of fried fish just to see how it's gonna do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it into our um, this is like the stuff that you put on it before you dip it into your breading. And those eggs are going to help that batter stick really well to this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to throw it in here like so. And then just to make sure we get all of it, what we're going to do, we're going to dip it again in here like so. So we're going to dip it two times to make it extra, extra crispy. Got it all battered up. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it in here, like so. Probably could have used a little more oil, but it'll be out. All right, folks. I think the piece is about to be done. We're gonna give it about another, probably about another minute or two, just to make sure it's cooked all the way through. Cause we got a pretty big freaking coat on there, so but it's looking really good right now. I can smell that pork rind. <laughs> All right, guys, I just broke open the piece of fried fish. Look, come look at how thick this batter is. Look at that batter right there. There is fried pork rinds on there. Oh, that looks so good. Let me give it a smell real quick. Hey, you can take mm. <laughs> that actually smells really, really good. So. First taste, this is fried pork rinds, fried pork rinds, and crispy zatarans. I think we got the seasoned fish fries. So, first taste test, the batter's falling off. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Gotta have ketchup. I'll taste one without ketchup, but the first one is gonna be with ketchup. I'm not kidding you. That is probably some of the best fried fish I think I've ever had. I'm not kidding you. I got everybody in my family wanting a piece now. It's falling apart. Let me see. This is actually is hot? some of the best. Yeah, I gotta save some for you, Kyla. All right, guys, so I tried a bite. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. So now I'm gonna let my mom get a bite. Here. And see if she likes it. But oh it is gosh. actually <laughs> really, Really mm, good. It is, and it's really very crunchy. That's what yeah, I like about it. It's crust, really, really what good. What did you use? I use fried pork rinds, the original, and then a little bit of Zatarain's fi uh, fish fry. So oh, I mixed both right. of those in there. I crushed up the pork very rinds. Very good. It really it's Very is. good. What, what would you give it out of a 1 out of 10? I would give that a 10. She give it a 10. Oh, I'm going to give it a... I'm, I'm seriously... I'm going to give it a... Thank you, Kyle. You're welcome. I think I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to give it a 9. It's because 10 is like blow my mind. That that was really good, but I'm gonna give it a nine. Now I'm gonna let Kyla have a bite while I get behind the camera. So Alright guys, so Kyla is gonna try a bite now. We're gonna see we're gonna see how this goes. How is it? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like the crunch. The crunch is good. Does it taste like pork rinds? Yeah. Okay. So if, if you like pork rinds, you'll really like this. Okay. But the crunch is definitely on point. So, but you weren't, do you like normal fried fish better than this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just because so I don't like pork rinds. Yeah. But I mean, if you like it, then it's definitely really good. Exactly. For the okay. pork rind taste. That's awesome. But it's not real noticeable. Like, it, yeah. it, it kind of just goes. That's really cool, though. I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. But yeah, it did turn out really good. <laughs> exactly. All right, everybody. So, that is it for this Catch and Cook. We had the whole sheep's head in the oven with butter, garlic, and salt. 
And then we also had the fried sheep's head with a pork rind breading. So those two recipes, what do you have to say, Kyla? You think they were good? Okay, yeah, those recipes were actually, they, they actually really surprised me. I was really impressed with all of them. So if any of you guys want to cook these things, I'll leave all the recipes in the description, which is like two. So I'll put the recipes in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this. I don't do too many catching cooks. This is like my first, I think actually this is my second one. I made one a while back. But um, I'm kind of new to these things and I hope you guys do enjoy them because it was actually a lot of fun uh, making it. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. I make fishing videos all the time and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.